Welcome back. Great to have Casper Rude on our BMW desk. Congratulations on the win today. Playing some really good tennis right now, Casper. Thank you. The whole season you've been Thank playing you. spectacular. Beat Arthur Feast today. Get your revenge against him yeah. from, from earlier. What does that mean to you? That was nice. You know, it was uh, – <laughs> Back in Hamburg last summer, he was really toying with me and a bit humiliating because uh, I lost, uh, you know, I, I was bageled on my favorite surface uh, on clay. So, uh, you know, he, it was his day that day and I guess today was my day. That's how tennis goes. Uh, it's, margins are small and, you know, sometimes uh, everything kind of goes in for the, one of the guys and luckily that was me today. You seem to be in a really great rhythm, Casper. You made a couple finals in Mexico. Coming in here, you've looked smooth so far. Mm. On a on a week to week, do you feel this is sort of the best rhythm you've had on on hard courts? Yeah, it's been the uh, best in a while for sure. I mean, uh, in terms of matches won and uh, feeling out there, it's it's been good. You know, I never really felt too comfortable here in Indian Wells before. I always complained, uh, you know, my <laughs> team probably are annoyed with it or uh, uh, tired of me complaining, but I, I never really enjoy the balls here, the pen balls, it's just not for me, but I think this year they changed from extra duty to regular duty, which is maybe a little bit better for me, I'm not sure, but uh, at least it's going better and I have a better kind of entry to the tournament, I have a little more confidence, I am, you know, have some momentum from, like you said, Mexico, and maybe that might be the change this year, hopefully. You mentioned recently that you've been looking to, you know, really be a little bit more aggressive in mm -hmm. your game. You started working on this more last fall, and it's been it's been paying off and coming together well. Yeah. Has that has that felt like you've needed to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, or has the transition been pretty pretty smooth? Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely a couple of extra hours on court in order to kind of feel comfortable with certain shots that I haven't felt felt comfortable with before, and uh, a lot of repetitions, you know, frustration when it doesn't go in, doesn't go the way you like, but uh, I guess uh, it's always worth it exploring, uh, try to get a bigger kind of uh, repertoire yeah. uh, in, in your yeah. game and have more shots and kind of hurt your opponents from more than just a heavy forehand, so uh, that's been the goal, and uh, the last months have been, you know, giving in, in terms that I feel like I've taken a few steps out there on court. Casper, off the court, uh, you've talked about building your new home back mm -hmm. back yeah. home yeah. And, and having some virtual meetings, yeah. you know, with interior <laughs> designers. What, yeah. What's the update? What's the latest? Oh, it's uh, all torn down now inside, so it's not a good, not a good view. <laughs> so luckily, I'm here. I get to. Uh, I don't need to live on in inside. Uh, you know, torn down walls and electricity uh, wires everywhere. So it's uh, it's going forward, but uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a project, but it's fun. It's something I enjoy doing. My mother, she's an interior designer so she helps me and uh, I always had an eye for such things I th always thought it was interesting so um, yeah it's uh, mo getting along <laughs> fine I have it's gonna be a busy spring anyway so I won't be home much so but the goal is to try to move into the summer okay summertime yeah summertime lots of players on the tour who fancy themselves good good golfers but you know you you seem to definitely be on on top of the <laughs> rankings I think for the no. for the no on the ATP you're not top of the rankings no I don't golf think so. rankings? I don't think no? so I think Rafa is probably the best one. Oh. Oh, okay. Or actually, there is another one who is even better, in my eyes at least. His name is William Blumberg. I yeah. play doubles well, with him every now and then. Him. He's a great doubles player and even better golfer maybe. <laughs> so uh, he's uh, he's uh, probably the best tennis player there is. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's a joy to watch him play you golf. Your game's coming along, okay? You got it's, an idea? Uh, really? It's a little rusty, uh, beginning of the year. So uh, you know, I have my excuses. I don't really play too much golf in Norway in January, February. It's a little yeah. too cold. So trying to find my groove. Uh, I played twice here. First. First round was awful, second round was a little better, so at least I got <laughs> some redemption of myself, so uh, hopefully the third time's the, the, the charm. You talked, Casper, about not loving this tournament in the past, so mm -hmm. to be honest with us, do you look forward to Indian Wells more for the golf or the tennis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, both. I mean, the, the, the facilities here are great, and then, of course, on top of that, you have fantastic golf courses, so uh, all in all, it's a fantastic tournament, and it's just ne nothing with the tournament. It's just that the, the balls that they use here is not my favorite, so I'm sorry to Penn or whoever ma makes the balls. It's just not uh, not for me, but, the, but there are other players that probably like them, so you can't just base uh, one opinion to be the right one, but... Uh, for me, I always felt a little uncomfortable here. Not sure why, but it's if it's I don't know if it's too much le pressure, too too little pressure. I'm not sure, but uh, this year it's uh, it's it's a good change from extra to regular duty <laughs> so far. <laughs> you'll um, you'll take on an interesting one in the next round. Both guys who can who can wall up a forehand. Yeah. You and Monfils, he's been playing some brilliant tennis. Um, your thoughts going into that? It's gonna be fun, you know. Um, from one 
younger Frenchman to an old kind of older Frenchman. <laughs> Sorry, Gael, if you're watching this, uh, but you are you are getting older. Uh, I think he also knows, but uh, he's such a nice guy and uh, incredible athlete, incredible person on the court, off the court, and uh, always a joy a joy to be around him and watch him play. So uh, it's been, you know, obviously a little bit of a struggle and challenge for him the last year or so, but he's overcome it well and. Uh, you know, physically, it's, it's just such great shape, or uh, still at the age he is. So uh, it's going to be a, be a really tough one. I lost to him once, and I hope I can have my revenge, maybe. Back to back revenge matches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta love that. Uh, listen, we're looking forward to it. Great job Thank all you. season long, Casper. Thank Thanks for spending some time with us, and Thank you so much. best of luck going forward. Thank you.